Hello and welcome to the video on some hidden easter eggs in Harry Potter movies that you might have missed if you don't have an eagle eye for it. So, without wasting any time let's get started. If you remember the scene in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone where Harry sees his parents in the mirror standing next to him, Harry thinks that the mirror will help him to communicate to his parents. He then runs away to tell Ron about the mirror. But when Ron stands in front of it he sees something completely different. Dumbledore later explains to the confused Harry that he is seeing his parents in the mirror because the mirror shows an individual its deepest and most personal desires. When the mirror is first shown in the film, the camera shows the border of the mirror's gold frame which has some words carved in it. At first those words won't make sense, but if the words are spelled backwards, it spells out, I show not your face, but your heart's desire. Hence the mirror is also named Ari said, which is desire spelled backwards. In the film Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, when Harry and Arthur Weasley make their way to the Ministry of Magic, you may have noticed Mr. Weasley marvel at all the muggle innovations like public transport and bicycles. But when they reach a telephone booth, it gets revealed that it is actually the entrance to the Ministry of Magic. In order to access the entrance, Mr. Weasley puts the money and dials 62442. If you look closely on any telephone's number pad it spells out M-A-G-I-C Magic. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire there is an instance where a hint is dropped about Deathly Hallows, much before its actual mention in the films. One can see it when Dumbledore is talking with Harry about Barty Crouch Jr. before the Triwizard Tournament's final event. The scene in Dumbledore's office when he turns to a glass display with many magical objects, there is a pyramid with a sphere in the middle arranged just like the Deathly Hallows. This can be picked up only by some real Harry Potter fans with a great eye to find Easter eggs in the film. With Harry Potter's talent for Quidditch, which runs in the family like his father, it is a big deal when he becomes Gryffindor's Quidditch team captain in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This significant moment was not wasted by filmmakers, who were smart enough to slip in the detail in the form of Harry's number 7 as the captain. This can be viewed as a hint of him being the 7th Voldemort's Horcrux. In the Wizarding World it is rare to see the wizards interact with muggles and their objects. And if they come across these, they are fascinated by the technologies that muggles have invented to make their lives easier. After Harry Potter runs away from the Desleys, he is seen taking up lodge at the Leaky Cauldron. There, one can notice a scene of a wizard reading Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. Well, that's all for now. Do let us know in the comments if you were able to spot any of these hidden details while watching the films before going through the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy watching such videos. Thanks for watching.